Welcome back everyone. Well, rain chances staying fairly low through the next several days as temperatures stay on the warm side and will more than likely be tracking a hurricane out in the eastern Gulf over the next couple of days. We'll break it all down here in just a little bit, but first let's go ahead and take a look at the upper level pattern and we had a weak trough uh, move across the region this weekend and really that helped to spark off the scattered showers we saw. Now we thought today maybe it was going to push out of the area a little bit quicker, but that wasn't the case so that helped to give us really another round of those scattered showers throughout Sunday, but we are now watching it continuing to push off to our east and look what's moving in behind it. A lot of dry air here, so really that's going to pave the way for a pretty quiet but also warm week ahead. So here we go. With the graph model, we're going to see clearing skies a little bit later on tonight into tomorrow morning as low temperatures drop back into the mid 60s. Some patchy fog will be possible early tomorrow morning as some lingering moisture remains in place, but then that'll give way to fair to mainly sunny skies tomorrow afternoon. But a pretty warm day out there. We'll see those high temperatures in the lower to mid 80s. So certainly not feeling like November. And speaking of not feeling or even looking like November, take a look at the tropics map here. We have tropical storm Ada that's continuing continuing to impact South Florida this evening. We have another disturbance out here that we're keeping an eye on in the Caribbean Sea. It has about a 20% chance to develop in the next five days, but not overly concerning at this point. And another spot out here in the central Atlantic that'll continue out to sea and be no threat to land. So certainly that's the good news. So here's tropical storm. Ada here, you can kind of see the center of circulation just now making its way into the Florida Keys, a pretty large and disorganized system, but still has winds of 65 miles per hour as of the 10 o'clock advisory moving to the west northwest at 14 still expected to become a hurricane in the eastern Gulf of Mexico through the early parts of the upcoming week and then it's going to kind of meander around for a couple of days here before an upper level trough moves in from the west and that'll help to start to guide it more toward the northeast toward west central Florida by by late wheat as a tropical storm and staying well east of Louisiana. So continues to be no threat to Acadiana, but there's no harm in keeping an eye on it. And that is what we're going to continue to do over the next several days. So temperatures, another mild start tomorrow morning will be in the mid 60s under mainly clear skies, but still some areas possibly seeing some clouds by tomorrow morning. But again, that'll give way to mainly sunny skies tomorrow afternoon. A warm one out there with those high temperatures in the lower 80s, lower and mid 60s heading into your Tuesday morning and then a bit more cloud cover throughout Tuesday afternoon. We'll go partly cloudy skies, but still another warm one out there with high temperatures in the lower 80s. Keep in mind average high this time of year should be in the mid 70s. Looking overnight tonight, we'll see those showers ending this evening. Again, pretty much already quiet on the radar. Some patchy fog developing by morning. Low temperatures back into the mid 60s. And as we head into your Monday, pretty nice start to the week. But again, it will be a warm one out there with those highs topping out in the lower 80s and we'll see easterly winds at around 5 to 10 miles per hour. So here's the next 10 days. Really no real issues here weather wise. Pretty quiet pattern across Acadiana, but again temperatures running well above normal through the upcoming week. We'll see those highs in the lower 80s each and every afternoon. Rain chances staying fairly minimal and the next front doesn't look to arrive until next weekend.